Welcome back. We talked about lines and how it's very important in graphic design. So now we'll be looking at color and its importance in graphic design. Okay. Um, and then we'll also be looking at how to apply colors. Please. This might be a little bit uh, tricky, so I will need you to pay more attention as we dive into the class. All right. And if there's any question, just feel free to uh, drop in the comment section on the WhatsApp group. Okay, just feel free to ask any question so 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 what is okay so of all any elements of design color is probably the most challenging to understand you have to learn a little science to fully understand the nature of color now color has three main properties yield value and intensity the intensity can also be called uh, saturation okay is that intensity of saturation so ill value and saturation and put it away so we're going to be looking at the properties um one after the other okay well i'm supposed to go through the primary colors and the secondary colors but i want to believe everybody understand what the primary colors are and the secondary colors okay so don't be much don't be need for that so let's look at the properties of color properties of color all right so number one is hue hue is also the same thing as color all right so if i say color if i say you I, I also mean color i also mean color so hue is the pure is the name of a pure color such as red blue or yellow so you is the same thing as color okay so another word for color is what yes let me see you type in the comment section you correct you is another word for color so the next one is value value i'm going to show you in photoshop okay these things value value is the lightness or darkness of a hue you see i said it i can use the word hue or i use the word color all right the value of a hue or color can be changed by adding black or white light values of colors are called tints darker values of colors are called shades all right let me let me quickly show you that right now right here so like so okay so now on on the constitution to be on this point okay so you have the new color all right so this h is hue h is hue s is saturation and um the b is value okay so u is color okay is the the color and here we are sampling the blue color all right okay let me take it to the red we're sampling the red color all right so if you want to look at saturation okay which is the sorry let's look at the value first the value that's what we're talking about right now so the value is um we have the dark the, this is the lighter that, this is the color itself okay now look focus on the place we have new that's this point okay so 
as it goes down it becomes darker all right so this is the value which is we describe the 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 lightness or the darkness of a particular color okay i'll, I'll understand that describe the darkness or the lightness of a, value, of a particular color so the, the light part okay the light values is called tint now this part is called tint why this part is called shade all right so from tint it moves from tint straight down to shade okay i hope that is understood if you understand let me see you type i understand in the comment section right now so we look at um, saturation which is intensity saturation saturation is the brightness or dullness of a color pure use are highly or high intensity colors so let me go back to this place okay now look at look at this this is a bright color okay i'm going to saturation okay now we're talking about saturation this is still red okay but it's dull it's less saturated okay but adjusting it to the top it becomes what it becomes bright okay the same thing we sample any color all right i adjust the saturation this is still purple okay but it is less saturated but here you have it it is um fully saturated all right so that is that is that about uh saturation okay so intensity of color is changed by adding varying amount of its complementary colors so we move to understanding how to actually combine colors now i forgot to mention this that color communicates emotions with color you can set a mood you can attract attention you can make a statement all right so if you want to draw the attention of somebody or some uh, or, 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 or of the viewer to something okay you need to use a color you can use a color to do that for instance let me just do something here so we see just type in a a a a all right so let me just do this um let me do this okay okay just watch just watch even though this is just watch just watch me okay now let me do this good now if you set your height on this okay the first thing i'll call your attention is the a with color red okay so you can use colors to to call attention to something i don't know if you if you get what i'm saying so if you do get what i'm saying please write in the comment section that i do understand all right because of our i don't want to make this tutorial too long okay so let's pause that so you can use color to energize to cool down all right so these are the things uh 
these are the message or the the, the the functions of colors so we don't just apply colors in our project all right so there are some colors that you apply to your project and it it um, renders it useless okay it distracts the viewer from getting the particular message so um maybe in the advanced class we'll be we'll be discussing we'll be discussing on we'll be discussing on uh the psychology of colors okay we'll be discussing on that uh by in the advanced class so color affects us in numerous ways both mentally and physically a strong red color has been shown to raise the blood pressure just like what i showed you here so the moment you set your eyes on this project the first thing i'm going to see is the red color okay so but then let's let's move forward to how to combine your colors okay that's what we call um color harmony okay that's what we call color harmony how to combine your colors okay so we are going to be using the color wheel something we call the color wheel and that's what we're going to be using to determine or decide on the color combination okay so you are looking at your screen now the color wheel that's what you're seeing on your screen right now um the color wheel and it's just basically what you're seeing right now okay the color wheel or the color circle is the basic tool for combining colors all right the color wheel is designed so that virtually or any color you pick from it will look good when combined together so but there are various um kind of color wheel but the most commonly the common version is this 12 uh wheel of 12 colors but still on the color wheel we have um the part of it as you can see the warm part of it and the cool part of it now when combining colors it is uh, very good that you combine the warm and the cool and the cool colors okay but don't forget we are talking about design elements okay and then we are looking at color and uh, principles to com combining colors all right colors impacts design in a dynamic way okay so now we've talked about about the um, tint uh, tone and shades this is talking about uh, value okay it's talking about value it's talking about value okay so the for instance here the pure color is what is blue okay as you have it here the pure color is blue the tint is when you had it when you add white to it it gives you the tint when you add gray to it give you the tone of the pure color blue and when you have add black to it gives you the shade shade of the color blue look at this place this is um the tint of the color yellow okay so turning it down oh, this is tinting okay from from um region of <laughs> let me put it that way region of higher saturation to region of lower saturation okay that is tint okay then we have um, a shade region of lower uh, see that is uh, from the color itself then you are adding black to it okay the color itself now for this yellow 
okay when you begin to add black to it it begins to change 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 and like that look at this okay this is tint this is thin and this is you can say from um gray to black is um uh, is a shade okay you also have tone here okay when you add gray to it to a particular color you get the tone of, the, of that color all right so now we're going into business going into business want to look at color harmony color harmony okay color harmony is very simple if we put our heart to it and it's going to help us in the choice of color okay now i want to give us an assignment i want to give us an assignment go online okay make research on the um how do i put it now the meaning of colors okay colors and their meaning and or uh, colors and their emotional meaning or how, how it affects or uh, the emotions so you're going to get several uh facts okay what means danger to a country my means peace to another country so all of these things we must put in consideration as i said i said earlier in the introductory part that design is a process so when you are to work on a project you need to make research okay what country will this project be 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 be, be visible okay uh this will help you in your choice of color so now you want to you want to talk about love and what means love to um a country is blue and you are using red because what means love to you in your country is red so under, if, if if you use red on your on the project i write love or it won't it won't send it won't send that message to the audience uh properly okay so you need to do your research make your research and then see that you are using the right col color to pass your message okay i hope i said something meaningful there so color theory color harmony refers to property that certain aesthetically pleasing colors combination have so this combination creates pleasing contrast and consonants that are said to be harmonious colors that look good together are called color harmony it's a color harmony okay so the first type of color harmony is a complementary color now listen carefully so the complementary color um scheme or color harmony uses colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel okay that's why you should have your color wheel uh with you should, you should have your color wheel it's available online to download download okay uh get your color wheel so when you're working on the project you you make use of the color wheel now this is how it works when you choose a color okay now one color will be dominant while the other will complement it for instance um this complementary color okay it, it might not be actually it uh it might not be it might not be for logo okay or for other things but when you're working on say a flyer design you one will be dominant why the others will be will, will, will complement it okay so you can just use a shade of it okay we also have um so the complementary scheme makes use of um color that are opposite each other on the color way for example here you have green and the opposite of it is what is a red okay the next one 
is the analogous. The analogous color scheme makes use of colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. What they say? Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Now, take note of this. Uh, although I will still say it when we, when we um, start practically. Okay. Your project, in your project, try not to use colors um, outside this. Okay, outside this um, color scheme we're talking about. The reason is this. You, they begin to fight each other. Okay, that's why this thing is designed. This scheme is designed so as to guide you or not to use colors that will fight each other so please try to adhere to it and when you are good at it you begin to try break rules and likes okay so back to analogous analogous color scheme i said use colors that are next to each other on the color wheel they usually match well and create serene and comfortable design now look at this um, i don't know if you have seen mastercard mastercard used this um, used this Okay. Now what Mastercard used was this and this. Okay. So let me have this as um Okay. Might not be right. But look at this. So these are colors on the color wheel that are side by side. Okay, so this is an analogous um, color combination. So we go to the triadic. Okay, the triadic color scheme uses color that are evenly spaced around the color wheel. Just as you have it here, you have the purple, the yellow, and the green. This would um, work together but then not everything in high saturation okay when you are combining these colors the three colors must not be um so highly saturated no 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 it would it, it would um fight each other all right so 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 the next is um split complementary split complementary now this split complementary you know we talked about complementary okay opposite each other now what split complementary is this is the dominant color which is green opposite is you have red okay but it's, it's um it's gonna make use of the green which is the main color and the Two colors beside it's a complementary color okay the complementary color is um red but beside it you have the purple and the yellow or the orange okay so that is split complementary okay so the split complementary color scheme is a variation of the complementary color scheme in addition to the base color it uses the two colors adjacent to its complement all right so tetradic uh, this um, the rectangular or tetradic color scheme okay uses four colors arranged into two complementary pairs this is it this is green complement of green is what red this is blue complement of blue is what of uh, or blue is yellow okay so this makes use of 
um two complementary pairs okay this rich color scheme offers plenty of possibility of variation the toy color scheme works best if you let one color to be dominant okay and the square color scheme same thing as uh works the same thing like um the tetradic i also have one which is um the monochromatic this one makes use of just one color okay monochromatic makes use of just one color but in its different shades okay for instance um i want to okay uh let me just show us simply what it means okay i'm going to use the color blue okay follow me we are still going to learn all of this this rules okay so i'm just i'm just uh trying to show us something Okay. So now this simple thing I just did. I have not used more than one color okay uh, let me just okay white is not is not part of the color so trying to show us something so this i've not used more than just one color which is what color blue so this is a monochromatic uh color scheme okay wherever you use your design okay you can have um for instance let me just have a okay, okay. uh uh, I think I'm here. Then maybe bring it down. Okay. Now, as it were, I have not used more than one color. So this is uh, how it works. That's monochromatic. Okay. It uses one color. All through the design or the project so if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section or on the whatsapp platform okay so that is how to combine your colors in your project that is how to combine your colors in your project okay so you just play around with things okay you play around the the value and the the saturation so that will be all for today thank you for joining uh till we meet again in the next class bye for now